Hey everyone and welcome back. We're going to be giving another stimulus check update on April 25th of 2020. In this update, I just wanted to give a quick update on the Get My Payment portal. I know a lot of people, even members of my family who have been extremely frustrated with the Get My Payment portal from the very beginning. From the very first day, even myself included, I would try to go on there and I guess there would be so much traffic on the website that it would keep crashing or the, the website would just fail to load on certain pages. And at one point I even got to the very last page where I had to type in my bank account information. And at that point it just kept freezing. I tried multiple times for many hours. Eventually, luckily I was able to get through, but all the way up until this point, April 25th, there's still been a lot of people who will type in all their information and for whatever reason, they cannot simply be found. Now, at this point, why the IRS can't have a competent website after 10 full days and they can't find everyone in the system, it's a little bit beyond me. Over the past day or so, I've had a lot more family, friends, neighbors, and even members of the community online that have had much more success with the Get My Payment portal. So, what I'm saying here is if you've had failures in the past with the Get My Payment portal, please don't give up. In fact, right now, I try to go on the Get My Payment portal after you're finished watching this video, of course, and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Go into the Get My Payment portal and see if it loads your information at that point in time. I am almost was certain that many people, if they gave up maybe a few days ago and they go back on, but now they're probably found just because there's been a lot more people who have had success with the Get My Payment portal. If, for whatever reason, it still does not load, I do strongly encourage you to look at a couple of different errors that I've seen with people using the Get My Payment portal. The first one is that people will tend to report the wrong adjusted gross income. Remember, this is adjusted gross income, so you have to look back at your tax forms and look at the line that tells you exactly what your adjusted gross income, because there's a lot of different numbers on your tax forms. I know that can be confusing for a lot of people. So go down exactly to the line where it says adjusted gross income, go over to the far right and see exactly what that number is. If that number is wrong, of course, they're not going to be able to find you in the system. And there's going to be some type of error that comes up. Secondly, another error that I see that is common is the address section. If you moved to maybe a different apartment complex or a different house or even you know maybe a different state within the past year. And your last year of taxes that you filed were 2018 and since then you moved, you would have had a different address on your 2018 taxes than what you're currently at. So what some people are doing is they're putting their current address and that current address they're living in is not the same address as what they reported on their last years of filed tax returns in 2018. So if that's the case for you, then go back into the system, type in exactly what your prior address was in which you reported your tax returns on, type that in exactly as how you filed your taxes. So if you've lived on West Maple Street and you filed your taxes as W period Maple Street, do it exactly that way. Don't even type out the word like West Maple Street do it W period Maple Street if that's how you filed your tax assess. So I mainly wanted to make this video just to encourage people to not give up on the Get My Payment portal. That will definitely be the fastest way in which you can receive these checks through direct deposit. Because if you looked at the stimulus check schedule, there's going to be certain people who aren't going to be receiving their checks until you know July, August, September. And I do not want people waiting that long to receive $1,200. I know that this money matters a lot for paying your bills and you know just everyday essentials like food and any other necessities that we need from a day-to-day -day basis for our families and our children. So please do everything in your power to get through the Get My Payment portal. Try to work out any kinks that are on there and make sure that you're typing in exactly the correct information, your correct adjusted gross income, your correct address. Make sure with 100% positivity that that information is all correct. And if for whatever reason it's still not processing correctly, keep checking every single day. And if you keep doing that for, you know, the next week or two and it still doesn't go through, you definitely will receive a check. The IRS does have all your information. The government knows a lot about us, so you'll most definitely be receiving a check at some point in time. 
I would definitely like for the Get My Payment Portal to work for everyone just because the direct deposit method is going to be so much quicker than receiving a check and we really, really need that money. And many of us can't afford to wait many more days longer. We really, really need this money now. So I definitely hope that many of us receive that money as quickly as possible. And one more thing that I will mention that is if you did type in your direct deposit information, it's still possible that you may not have a date. Like I said, I myself personally was able to get through the Get My Payment Portal on the very first day and type in my direct deposit information. But 10 days later, even now, I still not have received a date in which they will be depositing the money. So if you still haven't received a date or if you get through today and you don't receive a date, no worries. I do believe they should have those checks sent out to us via direct deposit soon, just because they have the information and people are receiving direct deposits. It's just slowly going out. So definitely we just have to remain patient on that and hopefully we'll get that as quickly as possible. But that does about wrap up this video. I did want to just get this information out to you guys who have been struggling with the Get My Payment Portal, offer a few different solutions on how to get through and just try to offer some hope for you guys today. So if you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, please like this video. It definitely helps get this video out to more people so they can watch it and hopefully they'll benefit from it as well. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and until next time, I'll see you guys and I hope you have a great day today.